Hey everybody, what's up? I thought I'd do this video to kind of let you know about something. Now, I know many of you probably out there have Windows Vista. Some of you may have Windows 7 Ultimate. And some of you, like me, may have Windows XP. And I doubt any of you have 98. <laughs> but anyway, the reason I bring that up is because you might notice, possibly more likely with Vista and 7, that you have a program on there called DVD Maker. Now, if it's on XP, I'd like to know. But anyway, a lot of you may notice, know that. And a lot of you may have used that for your own little thing, like home movies and whatever. Home movies, photos, whatever, right? Well, I discovered it when we first got that computer back a couple months ago. And I discovered the possibilities that it has. And one of those possibilities was the DVD Maker by Windows. Or the Windows DVD Maker, whatever you want to call it. And loud trucks. Don't you just hate them? But anyway, I have discovered it. Like I, one thing I dis one of the things I discovered about the Windows DVD Maker is it allows you, as I mentioned, to do a DVD with your home videos. Like say, if I'm shooting video, like I'm doing now, I can put it on the DVD Maker. Plays on DVDs, no problem. Plays on DVD players, no problem. I've also noticed... I've also noticed, and I'm about to cross the street here, that's why I'm looking back and forth. But, I've also noticed that there is one flaw, though, with it. One flaw, oh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have noticed. And what's that flaw, you may ask? Well, a lot of you, like I say, may have noticed this if you have a uh, Windows DVD maker with Vista or 7, or if it's even available for XP. You may have noticed that the flaw about it is you can only do two and a half hours worth of DVD. It's true. You can only do two hours and 30 minutes worth of DVD. In other words, in total, 150 minutes. And I discovered this, and I didn't know about this when me and my family first used it. You see, me and my family, some members of my family, are another big truck. I don't know why they have to be so noisy. But anyway, I've I recently discovered along my family, family that. You know, because some of my fa members of my family are UFC fans, and, you know, I'm getting into UFC a little bit, little by little. I mean, I got the game, you know, I'm watching it sometimes, and it's good, it's good stuff. But, you know, we downloaded uh, UFC 107, and my family wanted to convert it to DVD. Now, we didn't know about another program called DVD Fab. Now, I might do a video on that someday. But... Anyway, when we tried to convert uh, UFC 107 to DVD, and we did, we thought we had the whole pay-per-view, but we found out we only had two hours and 30 minutes worth of it. That's when I discovered it was, you can only do two and a half hours. Now, I know that may seem like a bunch of bull to a lot of people, but I guess it's only because, like I said, it's meant, its main purpose is meant to do, the main purpose basically for it is just for photos and home video. But anyway, the reason I mention this, the reason I'm mentioning this is because recently, as of today, I mentioned this in a video I did, I think a couple weeks ago, where I said I was going to probably do a DVD or C VCDs of all my videos that I had done in 2009. Well, I did that, but you wouldn't believe me if I told you that it takes, it took two videos, 
I mean, not two videos, but two DVDs to do. That's right. All my fan vids that I did, with the exception of the docu of exception of the series that I did, like the Decade in Review, the Retrospects, uh, things like that. With the exception of those, the exception of those, this, with the exception of those, it took two DVDs to put all my fan vids, comic music videos, AMVs, whatever you want to call them, on there. And you want to know how many that I made in 2009 combined with the few that I just made in the past few days of 2010, the first ones that I've made of this year? Well, the one, well, combined with the first couple that I did of this year, of 2010, uh, combine that along with all of them that I did in 2009. Are you ready for this? Let me, well, let me put it to you like this. You can guess it. We know that there are 52 weeks in a year. Minus five away from that 52 weeks. That's right. 47 total together. 47 fan vids. CMVs, AMVs that I made this year with the exception of all those series like Decade Interviews and the Retrospectives and all that. 47! Now I know some people, including my family, might say I have too much time on my hand and make, to have that occur, to have that become a reality, but you know what? When I used to work back in Kansas, I made a lot of SATAM fan vids, AMVs, including some CMVs on the comic with Windows Movie Maker. And I think I did just as many there, if not more, when I was working as I did in this past year and in, in, in just the first few days of this year. So, yeah, hard to believe. It's hard to believe, but 47 altogether, counting. Well, basically, when you look at it, I made two new ones this year. So, basically, 45 last year. 45 altogether in 2009, combined with the two that I made this year. That's 47 fan vids. Unbelievable. That's almost like a record. But, anyway, I thought I'd let you know that I, that in this past year, and combined with the first few days, I have made 47 fan vids. Co That's what it is. 45 in 2009 combined with the two in the first portion of this year, in the first few days of this year. 45 in 2009 plus the two this year, 47 altogether. It's hard to believe. I know it might be a record to some people, but I was even surprised myself. But I thought I'd let you know, if you want to give congratulations to me, that's fine. If you don't want to, you can comment, comment, tell me what you think, and I will talk to you all later. God bless, take care, and have a good Sunday evening.